Hello, welcome to this uh, short tutorial on standard form and it's going to go through an example of a question where we're using uh, standard form in calculations. Okay, standard form is also sometimes called scientific notation and a really crucial thing to know is that it is always written in the form of a number times by 10 to the power of something. And that number, that x, has to be between 1 and 10. And the power has to be an integer, a whole number. It can be positive, it can be negative, no problem. Uh, but it's always in this format. That's really important to really get your head around, because sometimes we'll get exam-style questions, such as this one, uh, where it has some confusing notation here. That looks a little bit confusing. We'll break that down now. But let's look at a question. Let m equal 4.5 times 10 to the power 3. n equals 2.0 times 10 to the power negative 4. If you'd like, you can pause the video now. See if you can have a go at this question without uh, any instruction. Uh, so if you want to have a go yourself, pause now. And I'll carry on. So the first part says mn. m multiplied by n. The second part, b, is m over n. m divided by n. It says, express each of the following in the form a times 10 to the power of k, where a is between 1 and 10, and then this kez. Well, if we go back to this, x times 10 to the power of n, where x is between 1, of 1 and 10, that's all this is. It's just different letters in there. So we've just, all it's telling us is to write it in standard form. And then it says that kez or whatever that means. Well, we've got to the power of k here, and something that you may or may not have found uh, is this e symbol here, that is, is an element of. And z is all of the integers. Okay? These are some symbols we use in maths to represent is an element of, which means it belongs to. So when it said k, e, z, and something like that, Let's just add that. That meant that k is an integer. As simple as that. k is an integer, which is what we said here. The power of 10 must be an integer. Okay, so no, don't worry about this notation. All that means is write your answer in standard form. Now we can get into the actual maths of it. m times n. We'll type this in our calculator. So, in your calculator, 4.5 then you'll press the times 10 to the power of button. On some calculators, that will be an EXP button. And then you press the 3. So we've got 4.5 times 10 to the power of 3. And then we'll multiply that by 2.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4. That should be straightforward. And what your calculator will probably display is 0 0.9. Go back to the question. Express each of the following in standard form. Whenever you see this, read standard form or scientific notation. Okay, this is not in, stand, uh, in standard form. To convert to standard form, what we need to do is say a number between 1 and 10. So we go along to the 9. We're going to put a point after that and say 9 times 10. Well, it's not multiplied by 10, it's actually divided by 10. So we'll say 9 times 10 to the power of negative 1. If you, if you want to uh, know about converting standard form, there are uh, other tutorials for that. This is about the calculations. Um, then we'll go on to the dividing one. The dividing one, we do exactly the same thing. Enter our values, divide, and our calculator display will show this. Convert it into standard form to get the full answer. Place a uh, point after the first digit, and we get 2.25 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Times 10 to the power of 7. And knowing all that stuff, uh, uh, how to convert between standard form is really important. Although if you would like uh, some tricks on using your calculator to automatically display uh, in scientific notation as standard form. Uh, there are uh, ways to do that, and I'll put a link to that in the notes. Okay, thanks for that. 